question. Mm -hmm. What are uh, the national languages of Kenya? The national languages of Kenya is English and Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. Now, um, unafahamu Kiswahili? Uh, ninafahamu, lakini si, uh, si uh, uh, kuongea ndiyo sio sio didi sana kwa sababu <laughs> unajua sisi hatu kufanya Kiswahili kwa Nini, yeah, what is it called? It, the 844 people had compulsory Kiswahili, lakini sisi mm. ni kujua tu Kiswahili kwa kuzungumza, kusikia, kufindio. Now, ukipata nafasi ya kuwa commissioner, uh -huh. na uende uko mashinani, uh -huh. na unajua watu kwa mashinani wakati mwingi uh -huh. wakifahamu kingereza. Ni kweli. Na upate nafasi ya kuelekeza wananchi uh -huh. kufanya uchaguzi we, we wa haki uh -huh. ni jambo gani ungewaeleza kwa Kiswahili kwa ufupi tu waweze kufanya ndio uchaguzi huwe wa haki kwa Kiswahili kwa Kiswahili kwamba wanatakikana wafanye nini waelekeza kwa njia ya kufanya uchaguzi eh, kwa njia ya haki kwa njia ya haki uh -huh. kwa hivyo sasa niko mashinani uh, kwanza nitawaeleza kwa nitaeleza tuko hapa sisi ni commission ya IBC Di, sisi ndiyo tuko na jukumu wa kuendekeza uh, 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 elections na sasa tunaelekea upande wa uchaguzi na tungependa tufanye kazi pamoja sisi kama commission na nyinyi wananchi Dio tuwe na ile usiano mwema. Usiano mwema kati yenu kama majirani kwa sababu kuna watu wana, wana, wako na nini, uh, wako kwa political parties ambayo pengine we uko kwa jubili, pengine mwengine hako kwa waipa. Lakini kwa upande wetu uh, uh, IBC tungependa kwamba mkienda mkikuja kufanya uchaguzi msiwe na ubaguzi mwe kwamba mna uh, mwe na uh, um, uh, oh my goodness <laughs> i okay so let me just answer this father mutie in this way yeah. that uh, I, I i okay this is so bizarre but when i was a judicial officer in kibera i worked in kibera law courts mm. as a judicial officer when I went there, I could hardly uh, speak Kiswahili. After about two years, I mean, I can understand I speak, but you know how it's your, it, I'm, not, I'm not confident. Okay. In one year's time, I used to deliver my judgments in Kiswahili. Because when you are in that environment and people are giving their evidence in Kiswahili and there's no point. I was actually the person telling advocates just ask in Kiswahili because, you know, things are lost in translation. So by listening and knowing the terminology that I needed to use, I was able to deliver my judgments in Kiswahili. So believe it or not, if I am joined IBC, I will know the language, the proper Kiswahili words that will communicate what uh, you know, IBC needs to communicate. So I will not shy away from it. And I did the same in the Commission uh, of uh, Human Rights. Thank you, Florence. I see some time is not on our side. I would have asked you some, some more questions, but kindly, Chair, I, I appreciate the moment. Thank you.